my toe employee here. I decided to do a snake. And in Native, in Native American culture, snakes were believed to have revenge and be absolutely wicked. And But in some other tribes, it was believed to hold rebirth and divinity. But this is my idea, so... How did you make it? What's, it, what's under there? Um... I decided to wrap rope around the milk carton. Can I see the bottom brown. of the milk carton? This this is just painted brown. The brown, the brown peeled off a little bit, and there's a hole in the bottom to help the totem get stacked on a pole. So there's going to be more than one? Yes. Okay, so show me how you did the head of the snake. The head of the snake, I tied two knots, and the end of the knot, I, I twisted, I, I, I frayed it a little bit. Like... The forked tongue? The forked tongue I frayed. Show me the eyes, okay? The eyes I hot glued to the two knots and one and I put two mirrors so that it would be kind of, sort of shiny and then yeah. I put the blue blue beads on the mirrors. Tell me about the tail. On um, the tail? I hot glued the tail to the other rope that I wrapped around for the body. Okay. And then to prevent from fraying I, I dyed some green um, fabric tape to the end of the rope. Nice. So show me the whole thing all together. So there's going to be a bunch of animals stacked on each other and you chose the snake. Yes. Um, and so in, in tribes like Quackyoodle and Navajo, not Navajo, sorry, in the Quackyoodle, they made totem poles to help tell stories about their family. And you could recognize totems, you can recognize houses just from the totem poles that stood outside the houses. This is my totem pole idea, the end.